champions. The Germans have appeared in this championship, Graham, as yeah, I think everybody you, thought they would at some stage. In football terms, maybe in life, you just can't write the Germans out of anything. You know, when the pressure's on, they seem to deliver. And they certainly deliver today. Some of the goals were exceptional goals, passing, moving, and, you know, people getting into the box. They're, they're a fabulous watch. I like to watch German football. I love to watch Bayern Munich. And you thought that actually in the first game against France, even though they lost, they showed signs in the first half then of what we've seen this afternoon. Yeah, I didn't think they played badly against France. You know, the game was decided on an OG by Hummels. Um, France are the best team on paper in the competition. But I, I don't think um, in my time in football, criticism doesn't seem to affect Germans. You know, they, and they get plenty. Uh, they just, you know, brush it off and, and can keep their focus better than most. And... They've always had very special players. Right now, who's the special player? I really like Kimmich. You know, Havertz will be one day. They haven't got one outstanding star in that team. But they're a, and they're a danger. They, whoever they play, they're going to know they'll be in a game with them. It was interesting because you were just saying they've got no centre-forward, have they? They've got no sort of equivalent to Lewandowski who obviously plays in the Bundesliga. They've got a full nine, a variety of them. Yeah, we can't say that Havertz is a number nine. We can't say that Yabi is a number nine. We can't say that Müller is a number nine, but they're creating enough chances to score goals and to win games. I think collectively, the way that they are playing at the moment, even against France, they had some moments where they play some really good football, but they stick to their philosophy and, uh, and they're playing some really good footballs. The speed in the second half, they scored four goals in 25 minutes, so 2-1 became 4-1 very mm. quickly. What was the key to it that they did in that second half? The delivery of the crosses into the box was exceptional. Obviously, they've got to work it to get there. And then the movement, as Graham's mentioned, getting bodies into the box. They haven't got centre-forwards, but every single time they make the right runs. And if you're a coach, you plead with your strikers to get across your defenders. They do it all the time. This is perfection. It's what we were crying out from England for last night. Play lots of passes on one side, switch it to the other quickly, get your opposite full back in. And they did it with Kimmich and uh, Goosens all night. They were absolutely outstanding, those wing-backs. But when they got into these areas... I mean, the play's really good to get there, but then the delivery was absolutely brilliant every single time. And the movement in the middle, there were always bodies flying across defenders, getting across the near post, coming in at the back post. Um, almost modelled on the training ground, methodical, but delivered with... And no more than two touch, any of this, is it? No, and this, this cross is just absolutely brilliant. Goosens comes in at the back post, Rafa Silva's sleeping, but you just look at them. They end up in positions to build up, to start with, as you'd expect, but all of a sudden they become the winger at the, op uh, at the opposite side. The delivery, it's a really good performance. That was an elimination game for Germany. To produce that under pressure, it's a big performance, that. They make it look simple. You know, sitting watching, you think, that's simple, oh, that's simple. That was a simple tap-in. It's just, it, it's, done at, it's done at speed. It's done with such quality. You know, these, these, are, these are fabulous footballers doing it at full speed. It's not easy but they make it look so easy. Did the wing-backs play further up than they did against France, or were they just that bit more advanced? I think they, uh, maybe they were a little bit more brave tonight because they were quite under pressure and they knew that it was a must-win game for them. So the wing-backs was a little bit more higher on the field and they had those players in between the lines. And when the ball managed to go wide, what was amazing in this game is the number of players in front of the goals, the number of players inside the box. And more bodies you have and more chance you will have to score the goals. So I think they analysed quite uh, the weakness as well of, uh, of the Portuguese. They were looking to switch all the time here. Now, Muller wants to switch. It is not actually Muller Patrick who switches it in the end. It's Kimmich, number six. Here, yeah, Kimmich they were looking was quite... Uh, in, the whole time. In, he was in the winger's position. Yeah. And the other side, you have a Gussens who used to play that position with uh, Atalanta. So to go from wing-back to the other uh, wing-back, that was... Uh, I think something that they analysed and they did quite well the homework because they sought some weakness on the full-backs of, um, of the Portuguese, uh, Portuguese, Portuguese all, team. All four goals from crosses, Graham, in, the, in effect. They yeah. work themselves into good positions and they're not, crosses. Yeah, but they, they're not crosses from deep. They're crosses when they're near enough getting to the byline. They're, paid, they're, they're played with such pace and, and we keep saying it, the three of us have said it, they get plenty of bodies in the box. But they're, they're, they're accurate kickers of the ball... But I suppose if you, you know if you're playing in that team and you know the minute the ball goes wide, and the guy who's crossing the ball is accurate, you're going to take a chance. You know if you're playing with someone who's a pudding and sticks it over the crossbar or over hits it, you know you're not going to be so keen to run into the box, are you? But these are quality operators. Yeah.
Um, it seems an awful long time ago that Ronaldo scored an incredible goal, but it's well worth watching again because it's the absolute prototype of a counter-attack. It was an exceptional moment in the match. The header, you know, clearing it out of his box, and he's a phenomenon. And then he sprints the whole length of the pitch. And the build-up, I mean, the Bernardo Silva pass is fantastic. The Jota control, he holds his run. Ronaldo sort of half runs offside a little bit, but then he ends up in an advantageous position to make <laughs> sure that Jota... Like I say, we criticised him at times in the first game for not squaring it for his mate, but he did. And, I mean, this is... Honestly, the header is there. He's under pressure from Ginter. And then, look at his reaction compared to the German defenders, even his own teammates. He sprints past his own team, sprints yeah. past the German team. Absolutely brilliant. The minute he's flicked it, you can see where it, he knows where it's going to land. He's off. Absolutely. We've got a counter-attack here. It's the dream. It's the dream that you want from a coach. I mean... If you're a young player in the Portuguese dressing room or anywhere in the world today thinking, I don't need to go back and defend, that's the best player in the world. Some will say Messi, I would say Ronaldo. Heading it out of his own six-yard box against the centre-back and then sprinting the full end of the pitch. I, I you, got it, nowhere to go. It didn't have an influence on Rafa Silva for one of the goals. Was it Gusson's goal? No. <laughs> who, who, was, who was daydreaming at the back post? Yeah, just, oh, that's not my job. I'm an attacking player. And just lets Gusson run free into the box. He has a look at him. Let's him run free into the box. Thank you very much. Poor play. But, I mean, coming back to Ronaldo, you know, if you're a coach stroke manager, imagine having him. One example is to everyone else. You know, the young boys coming through, senior pros, everyone. Dream. He, he does it. You can do it. He's yeah. still doing it after exactly. 17 years. You can be doing it. What a game that was, and we really enjoyed it. More to come and more.